All this stuff fits in one bag. It's simple. It's not over the top. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be packing my hospital bag. So I have been waiting to film this because I've been slowly getting everything together. And so if you guys followed my pregnancy last time, I did a video just like this if you wanna see that one and see what's different this time. But honestly, this time is just a lot less stuff, I think. I haven't actually looked at the old video. I think I packed light last time, but I like literally just didn't touch pretty much anything I brought because the hospital had what we needed. I like didn't even barely get out of bed when I was there because I was having a C-section. So yeah, I didn't even know like where my bag was for the first two days, but yeah. So today I'm going to share with you guys exactly what I'm putting in my hospital bag for baby number two. So let's jump right in and I'll tell you what we've got. So first of all, I have a fleece blanket, which will be used obviously um, when we come home, like if he's in the car seat, we can cover him up. Did the same thing with Amelia. She had her little fleece blanket. So I wanted to make sure I had this with us for the ride home. The car seat will be installed hopefully this week. I'm 34 weeks pregnant and so we need to get going on that. Um, so yeah, so I've got his blanket. And I'm putting everything into a carry-on luggage because that is the easiest thing to bring. So that's good. I actually already have Hui's clothes and my clothes in the luggage because you guys don't really need to see um, our undies and stuff. <laughs> so that's already in the, in the luggage, but I'll show you some of the other clothes that I'm gonna be bringing with me. Um, specifically this one, I actually have to wash it still. I just bought it. So I got this nightgown from Target. It is so soft and stretchy. And the reason I got it is because I wanna take some pictures in the hospital with the baby. And so, yeah, I wanted just like a newer one that didn't look old. So I'm gonna wash this today. <coughs> and then I like chose, I chose a bunch of outfits for him like I probably have too many outfits for him, but I just, well, let me show you the other stuff and then I'll show you his outfits. So I got, I have this shirt, actually I'll show you this, this is Hui's shirt. So this is actually the shirt I got him when Amelia was born. It can like unbutton right here. So he can do skin to skin with the baby. So I wanted to make sure he had his little skin to skin shirt packed. Um, I don't know, maybe I need to pack him another shirt. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to pack super light and I may be going a little too light. But yeah, so I've got him his um, skin to skin shirt. It says, Dad, it's your turn on it. <laughs> and then I've got the toiletry bag. Um, this is actually the bag they gave us last time we gave birth. So in here is just shampoo, conditioner, um, body wash, toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that. They actually do provide some of this stuff, but it's just nice to have your own stuff. So we've got a little toiletry bag ready to go. And then since it's COVID time still, <laughs> I really was hoping second baby would not be during the pandemic, but here we are. So I do have some um, disposable masks and hand sanitizer. I'm probably gonna be laboring in a mask, which I'm not looking forward to, but that's where we're at because COVID cases just keep going up again. As you guys know, I just got COVID. So yeah, so this is what we're bringing for that. And I'm just gonna throw everything down here as I, as I talk about it. Next, I'm bringing my Hakka. So this is a, um, a silicone milk collector. So when my milk comes in, if I have any engorgement while I'm at the hospital, I don't need my whole breast pump. I can just use this um, to get some of the colostrum out. I actually probably should pack like a milk bag, maybe a couple milk bags. I don't know if I actually use this. I just wanted to have it with me um, just to have. So I sterilized this already. I boiled it. So it's ready to go. And then I've got a eye mask so that I can sleep 
if it's like during the day I can sleep at the hospital. I have got petroleum jelly, which is my like chapstick of choice because I know that my lips are gonna be super dry there. So I'm gonna bring my jelly. So I got my jelly and then I've got this. This is a little um, photo prop. So it says I'm here and then you can write the name, date, weight and height. We do know his name. We're waiting until he's born before we share it, but that's why I haven't written it here yet. Um, so I will fill this in with the Sharpie at the hospital and do a, like a mini photo shoot because, okay, last time I was so dumb. I paid for the like guy at the hospital to take the pictures and to be quite honest, it was not worth the money. Like it was just like really bad. I could have taken way better pictures by myself. So this time I've learned my lesson. I'm not paying for that. We will have a newborn shoot at home. like. I don't know, two weeks after he's born and Amelia can be in the pictures and stuff but at the hospital I'm doing the pictures so I'm bringing this and then I'm bringing this is a swaddle that I'm bringing that I might use in the pictures just because it has like you can see it's like a woodland theme so it has foxes on it and so I just wanted to pack this I kind of want like a cuter thing I haven't found anything yet, so I might find something else for that, but we'll see. So I've got that little swaddle, and then a hair tie <laughs> to put my hair up. And then I need to wash, I need to wash these still, I just threw it here for now. Um, I'm gonna wash these and just pack like two pairs of socks for him. So I picked these up at Target, Amelia actually chose them. <laughs> I gave her a choice between two different ones and she picked this one. I have to wash this today so that way it can go in here. And then um, I've got these reusable, these are reusable breast, I mean not reusable, disposable breast pads. So I don't usually use disposable, but I figured if we're going to a hospital, I don't wanna have to carry home milky breast pads. So I just packed some of these to take with me if my milk is leaking at the hospital. Last time it was, it was crazy. I had a lot of milk. <laughs> and then I've got, this is my, <coughs> this is my hypnobirthing book. And so it has in here, the reason I'm bringing it is because it has some birthing positions in here so we can try at the hospital. So I just wanted to have it with me. And then it like, <laughs> I don't know if I'll put this up or not, but it's a little thing to hang on your door to let the staff know that you're having a hypnobirth, um, which is basically just like a gentle, gentle form of birth where we don't want a bunch of poking and prodding and um, what do you call it? Interventions. We just want to try and do it as naturally as possible. So that's just like one way to try and get our wishes met. And then I actually also have my birth preferences all typed up. I printed a few copies to bring with us just so we can give it to like the nurses and staff there. I'm actually going for a doctor's appointment on Wednesday. So I'm bringing a copy to my doctor as well to make sure that he's okay with everything on here. Um, it's not that serious. By the way, I don't know who is doing their lawn right now because it's like wet grass right now, but um, I don't know if you can hear that. So basically for this, I just wrote like a little blurb at the top and then I have vaginal delivery birth preferences and then on the back I have cesarean birth preferences. I'm hoping for a vaginal, but I wanted to be prepared for both scenarios. So I just wrote, um, you know, dear women, the Durham Women's Center, which is my doctors and the, the St. Peter's Hospital. This is my second birth and I'll be attempting a VBAC if conditions allow me to do so. If delivering vaginally, I am planning for an unmedicated birth. My biggest request, no matter which birth I have, is to be able to hold my baby immediately after he is born as I didn't get this opportunity during my first birth. Thank you for honoring this request. I made it like, that's like at the top. If they can't do anything else, that's all I want is to hold the baby when he's born. Cause I really had some, um, PTSD around the fact that I didn't get to hold Amelia. So yeah, then I said to prepare for this birth, 
I took a hypnobirthing class and will be using breathing and relaxation techniques including self-hypnosis during my birth. I have shared the remainder of our preferences below for both a vaginal and cesarean delivery. Thank you for accommodating our request. I look forward to this birth. So I hope, like, I feel like honestly, I feel like doctors just like see this and throw it in the trash, but I'm going to try and make my requests heard, hopefully have a good birth. So that's why I'm packing this. And then, let's see, and then, <laughs> snacks, <laughs> I just wanted to have some snacks. So I got my favorite Cheez-Its and my favorite Annie's Bunnies and this is what I'm bringing. And then the next thing, before I show you his cute little clothes, um, I'm bringing this. This is the Hatch Rest Sound Machine. So we actually have one for Amelia. So I just bought a second one for Foxy. Um, and the reason I'm bringing it to the hospital is not for him, it's for me because I can't sleep without white noise and I'm not gonna bring a box fan to the hospital. So last time I did the same thing, I brought the Hatch Sound Machine. I love this thing so much. Amelia loves hers. I'm so excited we have a second one. And this is not a sponsored video, but I am an affiliate for Hatch and I think they're currently having a promo for back to school. I'm gonna leave the details in the description box below. So if you guys follow the link, I think it's 10% off site-wide. And if you use my link, I actually get a little commission. So thank you for that. But yeah, I love I love Hatch. I'm not being paid to say this. Um, I just really like it. So I'm excited to have a second sound machine. Hui, on the other hand, is not pleased because he thinks that it's a bad habit to like have sound machines. He's like, I told him, I was like, we're at Target. I'm like, okay, we need a sound machine. He was like, sound machine. <laughs> Because he really wants to just not have Amelia use it, but I love it. I think it's good So now We're down to the clothing for the baby So for the going home outfit I I just chose like 20 things <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna wear but like Look how cute. Okay, look Just look at this this is a koala and it says mommy's little hugger. So this came like in a little set. This little koala set I'm bringing because it was really cute and he'll probably wear it home. Um, they also have these little mini pants that goes with it. And then there's even another one. He might wear this, I don't know. This one says so happy. And then I have like a little um, zip up thing for him, a little sweater that goes with it. So that's probably gonna be what he wears home, like one of these onesies and the pants and this, and then a pair of socks, and then he'll have his little blankie too. And um, I also have a hat, just a plain hat here that I'm bringing for him. And there's another onesie with koalas on it. <laughs> I just like honestly who knows if I'm gonna actually dress him in the hospital besides for taking the pictures so for the pictures I have a couple I have two options one is this one this is a fox little fox outfit for him and then the other option I went with is kind of to match like my outfit but I had a hard time because I thought I had something that was newborn that matched this but it was actually three months so you can see the the this is navy blue and white stripes I found these pants that literally are the same so I'm packing this with just this um, striped shirt to go with it this is a long sleeve green one so I don't know what he'll wear for the pictures and like again, I kind of want to get like a like a cuter wrap to wrap him up, like to really swaddle him and take his picture. So that is TBD. Hopefully, I can find something. But yeah, that's basically it for the hospital bag. I actually have. Um, where's my phone? Here it is. <laughs> I need to get like a little table here for when. I'm nursing because I'm going to be sitting in this chair a lot. Um, so here's the thing. 
The other things I'm bringing, car seat, which is not gonna go in the bag. <laughs> and then camera, batteries, phone, charger, AirPods, because I wanna be able to listen to some music during labor. And then my insurance card and ID, which is in my purse. So that's everything I'm bringing. Let me know if there's like any last minute stuff I should bring. Hopefully you guys are seeing this before I give birth. I'm 34 weeks now. I'm planning to share this video next week at 35 weeks. So that hopefully means I still have a few more weeks. If you have any last minute suggestions you want to add in the comments down below. But yeah, again, like all this stuff fits in one bag. It's simple. It's not over the top. Like. I'll probably be just like wearing the hospital gown for the most part except for when I take my pictures I'll wear this and then I have one dress to wear home like nothing serious but yeah that's basically it for my hospital bag for baby number two so if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it if you haven't already please subscribe down below and we'll see you in the next video bye